Hey there, Binder TV. Back here, Jeff Jackson, showing you my collection or obsession here in Middle Tennessee. Um, this is my 1974-75 uh, 200. This truck was built almost exclusively out of junkyard parts. This is the sum of about 25 or 30 separate trucks. Uh, the cab is truly was a brush truck from Fayetteville, Tennessee, or Fayetteville, as they say around here. Uh, and I was just telling John off camera, in the summertime, or even really this time of year, this one gets used the most. I, I, am, I take care of this truck mechanically. I actually just put a 345 in it um, two weeks ago. The old 392 had had enough, and um, I use it. It is a truck. I've been as far uh, north and east as Harrisonburg, Virginia. I've been to actually to Scout Co. up in Springfield, Ohio, or sorry, Scout Co. in Northern Virginia, and I've been to Super Scout Specialist in Springfield, Ohio with this truck. Well, you got the Northern Virginia correct. Well, there you go. <laughs> got it. Got to salute those guys. Um, but again, exclusively built out of junkyard parts. I mean, the motor I just put in this, the 345, um, came out of a junkyard scout that hadn't run in 25 years. And man, you gotta love an IH where you can just pre-oil it and make sure everything's good to go, it's clean inside, and new gaskets and fresh gas and turn the key. Sounds easy, right? No. <laughs> but it, it's a lot of fun. And it's simple, you know, and again, I use this truck. I use this truck all the time. I haul heavy, heavy, heavy trailers with this truck. And it has never, ever groaned, complained, nothing. And of course it's an IH, so it gets 10 miles to the gallon whether it's loaded or not. It actually r rides better loaded than it does. That's what they're made for, to work and yeah, haul a load. Exactly, so this thing, is completely stock international, other than, like I stated, it's a few different years kind of mishmashed together. It's all junkyard stuff. Um, the only thing that's not original would probably be that Elderbrock carburetor. And the fire department had this massive alternator on it, which I really like the idea of having a massive alternator, so I just carried it over. Um, yeah, had the radiator record when I had it out too. It's just a really, really good, solid, old beast work truck. It's not fast. It's not fancy. Uh, but, man, you, you pull into a gas station and people smile at you. They want to talk to you about it. One thing that I did do with this truck, uh, it only came with one fuel tank, which I thought was not enough. So I did rob a fuel tank. Uh, actually, you know what? It was that blue and white one that you used to own, John that I got from Tony up there, and I robbed its fuel tank and added dual fuel tanks to, to it. So this looks a little weird, but you know what? It doesn't matter. It's still international. It's and functional. It works. And again, I use this truck as a truck because it is a truck. And it's dirty, and it's full of parts and whatnot, but man, it gets used a lot. Well, that's what it was built for. Oh, yeah. And, and, and again, it, man, it just, it just runs, you know, like, sure, I probably could have gone out and bought something new and nicer, but why? There's no need. I got this. And it didn't really cost me that much because every piece of this truck was headed to the junkyard. Or was in the junkyard. Yeah. What's the heaviest load you've towed with it? I had, and I sold it recently, but I had a 75 um, HD 200, which it was, for those who don't know, the HD 200 is a heavy duty. It was a dually truck with an extended bed. I think it's gross um, GVR was, man, up. that was probably an 8,500 pound truck, easy. It might have been a 10,000 pound truck. And I went up to Kentucky with this truck and a huge heavy trailer and pulled it out of a hay field and drove it all the way home, no problems at all. Can't beat that. No, man. And it, and it doesn't squat, it doesn't complain, it doesn't grunt. It just goes. Killer, Jeff. Thanks for showing us that. 
Thanks for checking it out. Catch you next time. Yes, sir. Thank you, Binder TV.